today. A quick spot of weather shot through Kenosha County. It was there and gone in a mere minutes, but the damage is, well, it'll last for a while. Justin Williams has more details now. The scene in the Emco parking lot was bad enough. It's raining a little bit. The winds picked up quite a bit. But it clearly could have been much worse. Everything happened so quick that I didn't really even have time to react. Lloyd Belagia says he was on his way back into work at Emco just after noon when what was most likely a microburst from an isolated thunderstorm blew through the business park of Kenosha. I didn't know what to really do. I, I kind of froze up for a minute, so I headed towards the car. Belagia says he tried to take shelter, but the wind kept his door from closing. I tried pulling it with all my force, and I just couldn't get it. So I'm starting to get smacked in the face with some debris. So I kind of just reach in the back, grab one of my kids, car seats and I'm just I'm just blocking my face waiting for it to stop. Meanwhile, the roof was coming off so I was just screaming for everybody to get out of the building. The multi-layered roof on MCO's production facilities proved no match for Mother Nature, which rips it right off this corner. You know how these things are are built and be able to peel back this roof and all this damage, you know, is incredible. Still more incredible is the fact that no injuries are reported, but there is plenty of cleanup. I feel damn lucky. I mean, I, I mean, look around. I mean, look at all these car windows and stuff. I mean, I didn't realize the stuff was going on at the time. And I mean, when you think back on it, it's kind of scary. That roof, which suffered so much damage, consists of five layers. Four of them, including particle board, styrofoam, rubber membrane, and stone, were actually peeled back due to those strong winds. We Energies, by the way, says 150 customers lost power around noon, but most of them, it says, will have it back by about 6 o'clock this evening. Live in the newsroom, I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. Justin, I just had to pause for a minute. You said just peel back the layers like yeah. an onion. It shows how strong those storms were. Yeah, this was clearly an example of how strong and how quickly they can and use those strength, that strength uh, to do the damage like it did to this building. And this building is in a business park. It was only one of many, but it's the only one that suffered this kind of damage. So it is very spotty and very indiscriminate. Right. All right, Justin, thank you. Mm -hmm. well